Hey guys, this is Kyle Gano, and today I'm doing a topic video on was Batman Three Jokers worth the hype? So this week we had the last issue of Three Jokers come out, which was I issue three. And the short answer for this one is yes, I honestly thought it was really worth the hype. I felt like it did something different, but, but also stayed in tune of what has come before. So it definitely relies on the killing joke and death of the family the most. Uh, I don't really feel like you need to read other Batman stories to understand what's going on with it. I don't even know if you really need to read killing joke and death of the family. You just need to know that Jason died from the Joker and, and Barbara was paralyzed because of the Joker. Those are only moments you really know. And I feel like if you know anything about Batman, you, you probably already have an idea that happened to those characters. Uh, and, and what I liked about it was how character driven it was. I think um, a mistake that could have happened with this, and I, I think I've seen a lot of event books slash big hype books of the year do this, uh, and even maybe Doomsday Clock did this, where it relies so much on the mythology, it relies so much on let me connect to this timeline, and uh, it has to be a big impact for the DC universe, and I, I like that this wasn't. It was just a plain old act one, act two, act three story, and it, and it made it that much better because it was about the characters. It was about Jason's trauma, it was about Barbara's trauma, and it was about Batman's trauma, um, and, and how the Joker uh, did that to them. So I enjoyed the character moments a lot. And I feel like there were shocking moments, but again, it wasn't like, oh, um, I'm not going to spoil what happened, because if you guys haven't read Batman, uh, I don't want to spoil this issue, but uh, the big cliffhanger of issue one, I think in another book, and something that was connected to continuity is like, well, how is this going to affect Nightwing? How will this affect Robin? It's like, no, it's just, how will this affect this one story? How will this affect Jason, I'll say? Uh, and I and that's what I enjoyed about the story. It felt so contained, but at the same time, it, it did feel like it was impacting these characters, because their story stories we've seen in the past. It's how, how can, um, I would say, how could DC redeem what they did with Barbara for the killing joke? And in some regards, I, I don't know if they totally did. I don't know if there's a way to redeem that, but I feel like it was a step forward, another step forward to try redeem that and, and really have, uh, that trauma that was done to her, uh, and, and have Barbara kind of punch it in the face in a lot of ways and, and make it a Barbara Gordon story and, and make it a Jason Todd story, how he could punch his trauma in the face. Uh, but there's still all dealing with it you know there's still emotions connected to that and uh, I also feel like it, it dug deep in to something very complicated and I think all writers have a different feeling towards it but what does the relationship between Joker and Batman mean uh, and and it goes back to I never needed to know who the three Jokers were because that was the idea of this book it's like we don't need to know the identity of the Joker Batman knows who the Joker is but we never needed to know who he is under the mask because that's what makes him scary. And just like if Batman's identity ever went to the world, it makes that story less sour. And and, and that's kind of the, the game of cat and mouse that ends up playing here. And it digs deep into like the actual origins of Batman. We actually get to see the relationship between Joe Chill and Batman. I think moments that other writers were too scared to do because it was connected to continuity. Uh, this book has a breather to do because it's like kind of connected to continuities like you could take it or leave it it was really its own story so uh again don't want to spoil what happens but there's some moments in issue three uh where you're like oh man they did that other books wouldn't do that and i'll say it's between barbara and her father and there's a moment between joe chill and batman so i i think there's some big moments there also artwork was really good for this book with facial expressions and you just feel it you know how much time they took to to do this story uh and i i know do i wish there's a sequel yeah i think it'd be great to continue more for this story but at the same time i think it was just such a good contained story uh to tell about the batman's bat family's relationship with the joker and 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 still tell story and and again pull from story from the past but by telling a new story as well and them dealing with their trauma and 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 making a really great character driven uh narrative but let me know in the comments below did you enjoy this issue were you upset you didn't really find out who the batman three jokers were do you feel like it kind of made the the story a bit more that you it wasn't so mythology driven so this is comic to know definitely let me know in the comments below what you thought and follow me on twitter and facebook go check out my comics like father like daughter and they call her a dancer i do have a kickstarter going on november 9th i'll leave uh, the link in the description below if you guys would like to follow that 
And every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time is Comic Book Weekly, where we discuss our favorite comics and comic book news. Thanks, guys. Bye.